Learn how to master Lindy Hop with the simplest approach on earth. Check out my resources in the description. <laughs> Woo! Greetings and salutations, Jamin here. Make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any videos. This time I'm gonna be scrutinizing a all-star classic finals competition at ILHC 2021. Usually the all-star level tends to be on par with the invitational level in terms of talent, but it kind of lacks in, in terms of popularity. It's kind of hit or miss in terms of uh, the competitive level of the dancers. And so I'm gonna be looking pretty carefully to see uh, who's really hungry in this competition and uh, who I feel is the winner. Um, let's get into it. All right. All-Star Classic Lindy Hop Finals. Okay. Marion and Sylvain from France. Tonally already. Their personality and dancing style fits the tone of this music. It's great. Yes. <laughs> Okay, what I'm loving about this so far is that there is not too much. And I feel like the tone is congruent throughout the entire section that I've seen so far. They haven't like changed personalities in the middle of their presentation. The two words that come to mind thinking about this routine is soft and light. And subtlety sometimes is more effective. I, I think this couple is really effective and entertaining me without doing too much. And I felt it was right on. That was, that was really good. That was really spot on. All right, Ariadna and Simon. I like the choreography so far. They're breathing enough to let me see their personalities pretty early on. And I don't have to guess who's who, what they like. They made it pretty evident. Yes, good musicality there. I think so far, this one is uh, a little better than the one I saw before. There's a little bit more variety with the movement. Still, the tone is light, playful, exciting. But I feel like this couple is using the floor more and creating a more full picture of their personality and, and potential. 
And it could be the song choice. The song is faster. So obviously it creates a more exciting atmosphere. But I think overall the movements of these two are, are a little bit more complex uh, in terms of variety and, and what they're doing um, to use the whole floor instead of just uh, remaining a bit more stationary. All right. Yeah, that that was enjoyable. I feel like that was that was the better one. Um just slightly, but slightly better. I don't think it was as creative as that first couple, but I think altogether it was just a better package. Oh, that was good. Good, good transition. Those quick little snaps are really hard to do uh, in social dance and even in performance because you can't mess up. Yeah, great personality. I like these these two have a great personality. And they are doing a lot of movement, a lot of movement. J maybe just as much as the last couple. Yes. <laughs> that was good. All right. Yeah, that was that was good. That was also good. Robin and Jerry. I think the this one has a great energy. They're really synergized together. I think overall the choreography is a is a little less varied in terms of positional formation uh, as opposed to the other couples. The formations of this couple matches the couple from France. Uh, it's less angles, less complicated movements. It's just two dancers either mirroring each other or just matching each other. Uh, the choreography tends to just follow that template. Nothing wrong with that template, but it oftentimes makes it come across as if their choreography is not as complex. And it's way it's weird how positioning can do that.
Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a really good version of that song, too. Really good one. All right. Medi and Andante, South Korea. My favorite place to Lindy Hop. It's awesome. I give it to him for this song. This is not an easy song to choreograph. So, so far, I feel like this one started off really, really, really good in terms of energy level moving with their partner, but uh, there was a lot of solo dancing together, and that's really hard to keep interesting um, in a classic performance. You got to really kind of stick together and be very careful on that segmentation where you leave the connection with your partner in exchange for solo dancing. It ends up creating this illusion that what they did in solo dancing is more valuable than what they're doing together. I don't know why that is. As I, as I judge competitions, it just creates that illusion sometimes. Yeah, I think, I think that could have really helped this couple if they just would have stayed together a bit more. All right, uh, Laya and Gustav. Good layering on this choreography. It's really good. I can I can hear those sections in the music where there's a call and response, and I think they are mirroring that perfectly with their choreography. Again, I think to their detriment, there's a whole lot of solo dancing like the last couple, and it, it kind of takes it away if it's too much. I'm really enjoying their footwork. This is great.
Yeah. See, another good one. Another good one. Okay. Uh, Giselle and Justin. United States. So, so far, this looks like they are doing an improvised, chore uh, an improvised classic. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I like really when dancers can improvise and make it look interesting and, and captivate me as much as someone who does something choreographed. But this isn't the case. This isn't the case. So for me, it's gutsy to improvise. But at the same time, if you don't have time to choreograph something, then it, it really makes it hard to appreciate uh, the improvisation because they're clearly doing the wrong format, which is just more of like just social dancing. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you're competing against people who can add the cartoony aspect of Lindy Hop, which is choreography, it's an exaggeration of the thing that we do with social dance. Uh, it tends to have the upper advantage and it's really hard to appreciate just the social dancing. So, yeah, it's going to be hard for this couple uh, to, to rank for me. Uh, mainly because their social dancing, as good as it is, it's still not as good as some of the things that I've seen that was choreographed, clearly. And that's just reality. That's just reality. Now, I will tell you, I've seen some, I've seen some dancers do a choreographed set and they lost, in my mind, to someone who improvised. And that's really, really hard to do. The couple that were improvising, it was just so good that you didn't need it to be choreographed and it was just that more impactful. But again, like I said, this isn't the case for this couple. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, big shout out to all of these competitors who put themselves out there and performed and, and put it in your all. It takes a lot of effort to do that. And it isn't something that you should take lightly because Lindy Hop is something that we get to do. You know, we didn't invent it, but it is definitely an amazing art that we all get to partake in because of all of the hard work and dedication uh, invested by other dancers that have come before us. So big shout out to everybody who participated. Now, when I'm looking at this competition, there were really just about two couples that stood out to me for two separate reasons. The, the couple I thought <sighs> that had the best potential to get first place, but could I couldn't give them the first place position. And the reason I couldn't give them the first place position is because the first place couple actually delivered uh, a more well-rounded package of what the first place couple should be doing. That is, of course, you have great choreography, uh, you've got your good timing, you've got some good creativity, and of course, all of the dancers can do the technique. So when you have those elements, there's really nothing else you can judge objectively other than what we would call your preference. And that's a more of a subjective thing. And for me, I like to see all aspects of spatial choreography used the right way. I don't just like to see two dancers in a slot moving around doing choreography. I kind of want to see a three-dimensional macro choreographed piece. And I feel like this couple was lacking this, but they had everything else that I liked better than the first place couple. And so 
For me, the second place couple goes to the couple from France. I believe it is Marion and let's see who, I'll make sure I got their names right. Yes, Marion and Sylvain. Excellent, excellent ideas. As you can see here, this is fresh. They have a very fresh look. Um, how they're moving through their choreography is different. I don't feel like anything is forced. I feel like it's light and playful. And more importantly, I feel like it's not put on. It's congruent throughout the entire presentation. And But the only, the only setback that I feel that kept them in second place is there, there should have been a higher level of difficulty in their choreography. Sometimes you can be kind of nuanced and simple to your own detriment uh, because you don't want it to be too simple where anybody can do it, right? And I, and I feel like this couple had a couple of sections where they just went a little too far with simplicity and style uh, and they should have given me a little bit more meat with their movement. And uh, yeah, if, if, if that was there, they would have been first place for me. So that's why I had this couple in second. Really, really good performance. I really enjoyed it. And I was just wanting more. I really wanted more. I wish they had like an extra minute to just show me more uh, stuff that they could have done on a technical standpoint to uh, draw me in as an audience member. Uh, my first place goes to the couple I felt who actually did that. They actually executed all aspects of what I was looking for in terms of a choreographed performance. Yes, they have the timing with their music. Uh, it's not very hard to nail the timing when you have a choreographed piece, but they also had great positioning on how they moved around, and that's really, really hard to do. So um, that couple is Ariadna and Simon. As you can see here, they're coming out at the very beginning. And of course, they show me their personality. Uh, they take their time. They don't just go in doing a whole bunch of stuff. But then when they do, it, it's not too disruptive. It's congruent. They slow it back down again, and they give us a little bit more of their personalities. And as you can tell, they're right next to each other, and they begin to use the space a little bit more uh, uniquely as opposed to many of the other couples who just remained in a slot. So big shout out to them for the application of what I was looking for. I wish there was just a little bit more ingenuity, just a little bit more creativity and nuance and personality uh, that really would have put the icing on the cake to make it a no brainer for me. But I think they ultimately had the best edge when it came to the full package of a performance that's choreographed properly using up the space and uh, making it uh, enjoyable for the audience to watch. So what do you guys think? Who do you think was your favorite couple and why? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys haven't started doing this type of format, you should. You should. If you're a social dancer, you should jump into the choreography game. It's a totally different mindset of the dance, but it, it comes with its rewarding challenges. It really does. And uh, you'll find that the more you start creating with choreography, the more you'll become more bold in your social dancing and you'll look for new opportunities. So if you guys want some more inspiration, I'd encourage you to check out some of my free courses below. Uh, you'll see a lot of stuff that I've invented and contributed to the Lindy Hop legacy. And hopefully that can inspire you to start uh, coming up with some new stuff. So let me know who you guys thought was the winner of this competition in the comments section below. I will see your uh, comments below. Hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my last one. Take care.